Hello Aries. And welcome to your self-love tarot reading. I want to start by saying thank you for all the love and support. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. All the love and support is very much appreciated here and it does help with the growth of the channel, helping get the message to the collective. So thank you, thank you. If you find the message resonates, please feel free to like the video or comment below. Also, if you would like future messages, you can feel free to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's always welcome here. So let's get started. First card out, Aries. Five of Cups. The first three cards I'm going to pull is the current influences or current barriers, what you need to improve on, or what will help you improve, okay? And what's holding you back? So by the first three cards that came out is the Five of Cups, the Emperor, and the Knight of Cups. I feel like you're looking too long at the past feel like you're missing opportunities that are coming forward by being focused on this past situation okay now I do understand that you are feeling very tied to this person um, you're feeling very a very strong connection but this is a karmic, okay? This is a karmic relationship that was taking, has taken place, okay? I do get the sense that you need to work on standing your ground. With the Emperor card, this is a strong, secure father figure, a person who stands their ground. When it's in the position of what you need to improve on, I feel like that's what it is. I feel like you need to get better at setting boundaries and sticking to them. Now, there are opportunities that you're missing. Okay, with the Knight of Cups on what's holding you back, I feel like this karmic situation, you're waiting for this person to come back and you're missing opportunities to move forward. I get the sense that it's very frustrating to you. It's very confusing. But you're going to have to break these ties, okay? You're going to have to stop, stop focusing on the past and focus on the healing process, okay? Focus on yourself. Now, the next card that we have is... The Seven of Cups, but it came out in reverse. I feel like once you break these ties from this karmic connection, that's what's going to release this confusion, this blockage, okay? That's what's going to allow you to move forward to a new opportunity. Have the Eight of Cups that came out with the full card. This tells me that you're moving away from this connection to better opportunities. I do feel like you are still going to think about this person. It's inevitable, okay? It's inevitable that you think about a past partner, especially when you have strong connections with that person. Don't rush this because there's lessons that need to be learned here that are very pertinent in your future. 
So I understand that you're not really wanting to see this sense of feeling trapped. I feel like it's you, Aries. You don't want to move forward from this. You're hopeful in this situation. There is going to be a new offer that's going to come through that's going to help break this confusion. It, it may very well be a person from the past, okay? Um, a romantic partnership you had before this person came into your life and they're going to, they're probably going to offer you um, something that's going to heighten your awareness in this situation, okay? So, <clears throat> Aries, the Manifestor Soulmate card that came out for you is, your life does not get better by chance, it gets better by change. It's time, it's time to make a change. I do get the sense that you're, you're moving through this. I feel like it's been a slow process for you. You maybe have gotten frustrated a couple times, especially with readings about past partners coming back. Understand that these readings are general. They're not going to resonate with every person every time. The self-love reading is definitely picking up that being focused on this past relationship, even if this is a soulmate connection and they're meant to come back into your life, there's people that are going to teach you lessons that are still important. So it's time. It's time to make a move. It's time to move forward. That is the message I have for you, Aries. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.